Dear Heavenly Father, on this fifth day of our dedicated prayers, we humbly come before you once again, seeking your divine presence. As we are facing the challenges and hardships that today brings, we know that you are the source of strength and comfort. Lord, you see the burdens we carry, the trials we face, and the obstacles that stand in our path. We recognize that life's journey is not without its difficulties, and so we gather together in unity to implore your mercy and favor. Grant us, O Lord, the wisdom to discern the right path amidst confusion, the courage to face adversity with unwavering faith, and the perseverance to overcome any obstacle that dares to hinder our progress. May your light shine upon our darkest moments, illuminating our way and filling our hearts with hope. In the midst of our struggles, we remember the words of your Son, Jesus Christ, who said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest, Matthew 11:28. We lay our worries and anxieties at your feet, trusting in your promise to sustain us. As we lift our voices in prayer today, we ask for your favor to accompany us. May your grace envelop us, strengthening our resolve to face whatever challenges may come. Help us to see these trials not as stumbling blocks, but as opportunities for growth and deeper connection with you. Bless us, dear Lord, with the courage to overcome our hardships, the faith to endure, and the humility to recognize that your will surpasses all understanding. In the face of adversity, may we find our refuge in your unwavering love and unending grace. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Welcome friends to our fifth day of prayer. In today's session, we will meditate and pray with three verses as we continue asking God's favor for our needs. These verses are extracted from 1 John 5 14 to 15, Psalm 37 4 and Mark 11 24. We read. 1 John 5 14 to 15, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of Him. Psalm 37 4, Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Mark 11 24, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Now we are going to meditate on these passages. I invite you to find a serene space where you can engage in this meditation and immerse yourself in the presence of God. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and allow the world around you to fade away. Let these verses guide you into a deeper reflection on prayer. As you center your thoughts, recall the words of 1 John 5 14-15, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of Him. It is time now for you to think about your most crucial needs. Offer them to Him as you picture yourself presenting to the Lord with a tray full of offerings. Just like you are happy that He'll receive your offering, think about the same thing He would do when you offer to Him your struggles, your needs. Have the assurance that He will provide you with what is good for you and all that is aligned to His will. Reflect on the assurance that these verses bring. You are invited to approach God with confidence, knowing that when your requests align with His will, He listens attentively. Take a moment to acknowledge any desires or concerns that weigh on your heart. Surrender them to God, trusting that He hears you and will answer in His perfect timing. Now, shift your focus to Psalm 37 4, delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Imagine yourself delighting in the presence of the Lord. Picture a serene landscape where you feel an overwhelming sense of joy and peace in His company. As you bask in His love, consider the desires of your heart. What longings have you held on to? Visualize placing these desires into God's hands, releasing any attachment to outcomes. Allow His peace to envelop you, knowing that He understands your heart's desires and will grant what is best for you. Finally, bring to mind the words of Mark 11:24. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Take a moment to embrace the power of belief. 
Visualize yourself receiving the answers to your prayers as if they have already come to fruition. Experience the gratitude and joy that accompany the fulfillment of your desires. As you hold on to this sense of faith and gratitude, remind yourself that God's promises are true and that His timing is always perfect. As you continue to breathe deeply, let these verses intertwine within your thoughts. Feel the confidence of approaching God with your requests, the delight of being in His presence, and the unwavering belief that your prayers are heard and answered. When you are ready, slowly open your eyes and carry this sense of peace, assurance, and faith with you throughout your day. Remember that God's love is with you, and His promises are a source of comfort and hope. Now let's unite our voice together to lift our prayers before God. Viewing the comments we summarize requests that are commented into three things that we are going to pray for as we are walking through our faith day of prayer today. Today we are going to pray for people who is struggling financially. For those who are seeking for the homeless or whoever is in need for a wolf above their head and finally we'll pray for those who are their loved one success. Gracious Father, we as we are walking through our fifth day of prayer asking you for favors, we come before you today with our heavy hearts, burdened by the financial challenges that weigh on our viewers and their loved ones. You, who are the creator of all things, we know that nothing is beyond your understanding or your power to resolve. You are the source of abundance and provision, and we humbly seek your help in this time of need. Lord, you know the depth of our financial struggle, the bills that pile up, debts that are accumulating and the uncertainty that surrounds us. We feel overwhelmed, but we do know that with your guidance and grace, we can find a way through this difficult season. Lord, I pray for your provision to meet our immediate needs. Please open doors and create opportunities for financial blessings to flow into our life. Give us the strength to persevere through this challenging time, trusting that you are with us every step of the way. Help us to release any anxiety or fear about our financial situation, for we know that worry does not add a single day to our life. Instead, we choose to place our trust in you, knowing that you are our provider and our refuge. We also pray for contentment, Lord. Help us to find joy and peace in the midst of financial difficulty, to focus on the blessings we have rather than what we lack, and to remember that true wealth is found in a heart filled with love, gratitude, and faith. As we lay our financial concerns before you, we surrender them into your capable hands. Your will be done, Lord, for we trust that your plans for us are filled with hope and a future. Heavenly Father, we come before you with a humble heart, recognizing your boundless love and compassion. Thank you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon us throughout our life. Today, we bring a specific request before you. Lord, asking for a roof above the head of everyone in that need. You know the challenges they may be facing, whether it be a need for shelter, a stable home, or a place of refuge. We trust in your providence, knowing that you are aware of our circumstances and needs. Lord, we ask that you guide us in finding suitable and safe shelter. Open doors and lead us to the right opportunities and resources. Provide us with the means to secure a place where we can find warmth, safety, and a sense of security for us and for family. We also pray for gratitude, Lord, to appreciate the blessings we have and the progress we make on this journey. Help us to remember that you are our ultimate provider and protector, and that our trust in you will see us through any challenge. Grant us strength, courage, and faith as we navigate this chapter of our life. May we always turn to you in times of need, knowing that your love and care surround us. Gracious and loving God, today, we come before you with a heart full of love and concern for our beloved ones. You have blessed us with family and friends who hold special places in our heart, and we lift them up to you now, seeking your divine favor and guidance for their success. Lord, we pray for their well-being, for their dreams and aspirations, and for the paths they are walking. May your loving presence accompany them every step of the way. Grant them the wisdom to make sound decisions, the courage to face challenges, and the perseverance to overcome obstacles. We ask for your protection over them, shielding them from harm and adversity. 
surround them with your grace, peace, and strength as they pursue their goals and aspirations. May your light shine brightly upon their endeavors. Lord, instill in them a heart of gratitude, humility, and compassion as they strive for success. Help them to use their talents and abilities for the greater good, to make positive impacts on the lives of others, and to always walk in your ways. May their success be defined not only by worldly achievements but also by their spiritual growth and the love they share with those around them. Bless them abundantly, Lord, so that they may be a blessing to others. Above all, we pray that your will be done in their lives. If their desires align with your purpose, we ask that you grant their heart's desires. If not, grant them the wisdom to accept your plan, which is always perfect. Lord, we trust in your divine providence and love for our loved ones. We know that you have plans to prosper them and not to harm them, plans to give them hope and a future, Jeremiah 29 11. In your loving and powerful name, I lift up these prayers, trusting that you hear and answer, we pray. Amen.